Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play the Captain is Dead Dangerous Planet. This is a spin-off of the Captain is Dead. It's a standalone game, so you do not need the original The Captain is Dead game in order to play this. This game supports two to seven players. It's for ages 14 and up, and the average play time is 60 to 90 minutes. So in The Captain is Dead Dangerous Planet, you are not on a ship. Rather, you are landed on some kind of dangerous planet, as the name implies. You've got your trusty shuttle with you, and it's up to you to find all of the artifacts before the alien bugs swarm your position. So without further ado, let's make it so. Engage. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain! <laughs> What does Picard do? He does the face pump. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good one. Just... <laughs> that looks good. So we've set up for a two-player game, though it's worth noting that, like in The Captain is Dead, the rulebook doesn't say how many characters you should control in a two-player game. I'm assuming the rulebook wants us to play just one character each, but what's weird is that, like in The Captain is Dead rulebook, if you're playing a single-player game, the game recommends that you control three or four characters. So by that logic, we're each controlling two characters. That way we've got a wide variety of different skills that we'll be able to call upon. Like the captain is dead, there are different crew members that are available to you, and there are different colors. If you've played the captain is dead, then you'll be familiar with some of these characters. Uh, for the most part, their abilities are kind of sort of the same. Uh, some of them are the same, others are not. Um, they do have some of the same symbols. Um, the upper right hand corner here is the hand size, this, this determines the player turn order, this is how many action points you have for your turn, these are the skills that you can use on your turn, and these act like discounts. Uh, you'll be able to perform actions, and as you perform actions that require these symbols, instead of spending skill cards, which you have in your hand, uh, you'll be able to spend these instead to help you out. And like I said, each of these characters has different abilities. Um, I went ahead and chose um, some for us already so that, you know, you wouldn't have to sit here while we draft them. But as you can see, there's a lot of different crew members to, to mess around with. Um, so as far as the game set up and everything goes, um, I have two characters. She has two characters. I've got the Admiral and the Science Officer. She's got the Tactical Officer and the Soldier, okay? Um, each of us receives one of these blue reference cards. This helps us determine how the game is played and what the cost is for some of these equipment that we'll be able to put down. Um, there's also a guide card on what we can do on our turn. Um, there's also a random tool that is passed out to everyone. So I got the telepod and she got the pistol. There's two sides of these tools. You're going to use side A first, then flip it to side B, use that, and then you discard it. Everyone also gets a total of five of these skill cards, and then you're going to go ahead and choose one and put them into this discard pile up there. Um, and this is a random draw from the deck. Uh, the skills deck is right back there. Uh, the, the three that are face up here, um, you can draw from them throughout the game, or you can draw blindly from the skills deck, depending on what shuttle system you use. So like the captain is dead, you're going to have various systems that you'll be able to make use of to help you break your standard actions. Like I said, this reference card is a quick guide as to what your character can do just by themselves, but these spaces will help you break those rules and do other things. For example, this teleporter allows you to move anywhere, so as long as it's a revealed space. Um, the internal sensors allows you to draw three face-up skill cards, and then, you know, that way you can choose one when you're drawing. The computer uh, is the skills deck there. When that goes offline, all of those skills are discarded, which is nasty. The external scanser, uh, scanners, rather, they um, allow you to put two face-up uh, alerts here, which we'll do in a minute, and that way you can see what's coming. 
Alerts are resolved from top in, so it's sort of like a conveyor belt kind of thing. And then as new as as alerts are resolved, uh, the ones here are going to slide forward, and new ones are going to take their place. The comm system allows you to trade skill cards between players, um, and that can be used anywhere, like the teleporter. Like you don't have to be in a particular room in order to use it, like in the Captain's Dead. Medical station allows you to heal someone. If someone is injured, they are placed on their side, and they can only do a certain number of things. And you'll see this little symbol on the right-hand side of some of your uh, actions. That means that you can only do the actions when you're injured. Or, or this is the injured here. This is when there's a bug at your location. Okay, so what is the objective here? Well, um, you're going to, as you imagine, you're on this planet you've crashed or whatever the case is and you're trying to earn relics uh, or I'm sorry artifacts in order to um, well launch your shuttle and uh, escape so there's a track up here and there's also these tunnels here bugs are going to be spawning uh, spawning from A, B, C, D, E, and F and working their way forward toward our shuttle if we take too much damage to our shuttle the game is over um, we're going to be finding the artifacts in these tiles as we reveal them, and then we're going to be spending science and action points to uh, pick up these artifacts and place them on this track here. Now there is, it's hard to see because uh, I know it's you know, kind of far away, but there is a difficulty uh, track here uh, on the very bottom. There's the hardest on the far left. There's a uh, veteran, then normal, then novice. We have it set on novice. So basically, we start here, we're going to be earning artifacts, moving forward like that, and as we collect more and more artifacts, we'll be making our way to this novice difficulty space, and if we get there, we win. If the bugs happen to destroy an artifact, um, then we're going to put the destroyed artifact working in the opposite direction. And if, that's, if the destroyed artifacts ever reach the difficulty marker, then it's another way we lose the game. Uh, if you played on the hardest difficulty, losing one artifact immediately loses you the game. So we're not doing that. Uh, <laughs> um, you've also got this space one, two, three, four, and five. Those are the alien bug marker track. That's, um, that determines their speed. Um, as we go up this track, there are gonna be certain values that will uh, take place. So the further we go up the track, certain things will resolve. Uh, whenever we see like an alien bug symbol, we'll move this little marker up by one space, and that's how fast the alien bugs move whenever it's their turn to move. So the further we get up the track, the faster the bugs get and the nastier the game gets, uh, essentially. You know, there's also these relic spaces on this track, and as we move up the track, um, we'll be able to draw these purple cards off to the right and we can earn their bonus effects. There's also these um, pieces of equipment in purple up here. Uh, we'll be able to um, put equipment down, assuming we have the cards and the action points necessary to do that. Um, those range from things like gun turrets to stasis fields to force fields, uh, different ways to dispatch the bugs and keep the swarm at bay while we're trying to find these artifacts and get them home so that we can win the game. The general t uh, turn is spend actions. Um, the number of actions, again, is on your action card. Most characters have four actions. Once they do that, you can activate any devices. Those are those little pieces of equipment I was talking about. You activate those. Um, that, again, if you have any gun turrets, you'll shoot within its specified range. Uh, then you advance the bugs a number of spaces, depending on whatever this track says. And then you're going to resolve an alert. Um, if the external sense scanners are online, you'll resolve the face-up card furthest away from the board, and then you'll slide that up and then draw a new one. If the external scanners are offline, then you're just going to draw blindly from the alert deck like you would in The Captain is Dead. So if you've played The Captain is Dead, there's a lot of similar mechanics going on here. It's just a different theme, different, uh, you know, different way to win, different way to play. So I think... That's the gist of it. Um, I may have skipped over one or two things, but um, that, that's the general premise of it. So, um, we're going to go in turn order. Um, my Admiral is number one here, so I think I'll show you him first, and I'll take my actions with him. Um, his special ability is, when drawing skills from the computer, draw two and choose one, and then discard the other one. So that's my special ability there. And in order to use these shuttle systems, you have to be on the shuttle hull space. Okay. Oh, before we get started, we have to draw five alerts, just like you would in The Captain is Dead. Ooh. Yeah, we have to draw five alerts and resolve them. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. 
Um, so we've got scanner completed. Active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place a bug on its location closest to the shuttle. Active player may not consult other players. At the beginning of the game, the active player is the first player. So I can't consult you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just choose one of these two closest to the shuttle to reveal. Oh, uh, by the way, this setup is random. Uh, there are a number of different ways to set up this. Uh, you can have like four paths uh, coming out from the shuttle. You can have two. Um, essentially, to make the game harder, you want shorter tracks. If you want the game easier, make longer tracks like so. Um, but if you've got like a one, two, three, and then a bug spawn here, that's a very short distance to your shuttle, and that makes the game harder. So I opted for something that was a bit less hard, hopefully. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and, per this alert, I'm going to go ahead and reveal uh, this one here. And this one is place uh, four of these uh, artifacts. So that's actually kind of good. So I'm going to do something like that. And I'm going to get these artifacts out of here. And while you're doing that, uh, while I'm doing that, here's a quick look at the, um, like here's the uh, gun turrets that you can put down, stasis fields. Uh, these are the artifacts that you can put down. So I'm going to put down four at this location. And also a bug will go um, here as well, I believe. One, two, three, four, I think it was, or was it five? Actually quite lucky, okay. Cool. Um, okay, so that was that alert, uh, and this is the rest of the box insert for those of you curious. This Kobe, the, the Koyashi Baru simulation is a play of Kobayashi Maru from Star Trek. Um, if you've watched The Wrath of Khan, you'll see uh, Savik trying to complete the Kobayashi Maru scenario. This makes the game harder. This is basically a set of yellow alert cards that you can put in place of the ones in the core game to make the game a bit more challenging. We're not doing that for obvious reasons. Uh, this is our first time playing, by the way, so uh, this is going to be a, a first impressions video. We may make some mistakes. Okay, so we've completed that one. We put a bug out. What was your... you were about to say something? Um... We have to put a bug on it? Yeah, we're gonna, I did. I put a bug right there. Oh, that's the It point. says, active player must reveal unrevealed tile and place a bug on its location closest to the shuttle. Mm. So that's exactly what I just did. Okay. So um, I'm going to put, I guess, that here. Um, then the next one, bugs hatch. Add four bugs to nest A. So I'm going to take more bugs out of the box. What in the heck is nest A? Oh, there. One, two, three, four. There's, there's four right there. Nest. The game also ends if we try to put bugs out and we can't. That's another way we lose. You uh, should put all the bugs on one side or something so that we can yeah, see how many there are left. I will. Hidden bugs. Add a bug to every location with at least one player. That means we have to put one on the shuttle. Ooh. Um... Okay, now the bugs only do damage whenever they advance, so we have, I have a turn to dispatch, mm -hmm. wrong one. I have a turn to dispatch this bug by killing it. Okay. So, oh, it's just one bug? Yeah, it just says one bug, um, it says per the card here, add a bug to every location with at least one player. Oh. Had there been like a player here, a player here, there'd be one, one, one. Yeah. But all of us are gathered there in one spot, so oh. it's just one bug. That's not um, bugs hatch, add four bugs to nest B. <laughs> Lots of bugs. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. There's plenty of bugs in here. All right. There's, this place is infested. It is infested. And then the last one, uh, crate damage. Active player must remove an undeployed device from the game. Uh, active player may not consult other players. At the beginning of the game, the active player is... So I have to remove one of these devices. Um, this, the purple stuff? Yeah, one of those oh. four purple devices. And I'm looking, I'm trying to see which one... Um, would be the, um, the shock field looks kind of nice. The shock field basically moves bugs backward. It, like, repels them. The zapper, the blaster, and the railgun all attack, but they have different ranges and different, uh, actually, you know what? I believe on the back of the rule book, there's a list of them here. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. It's also on the back here. Yeah, so this is easier to see. The Zapper, um, these, this is the cost to build it, and this is, their, uh, this is the range, and this is how many bugs can be killed, I believe. Blaster has a, a longer range, but only kills two bugs. The Railgun has a range of nine, kills three bugs. Stasis field, add a stasis field token to a stack of bugs. Uh, prevents them from moving for a turn. Force field absorbs four damage, then it's removed. 
and then uh, the shock field bugs within range are moved back two spaces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the uh, stasis field. I don't know when we're ever gonna use that. I'd rather just kill them. So um, we're going to just remove the, that uh, was the stasis field, that's this one right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this away and not put it in the box. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put these, can you put those devices over there? Yeah, that, that works, I'll take that. And here, take that one too. That one just goes over there. Mm -hmm. That one goes back in the box. Okay, so that was that alert. So that was five alerts that we resolved. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And now we're gonna put two face up for um, these alerts here. So one, two. And we're gonna resolve this one. What's that? What is that? I don't know. Oh, that is a character. Oh. That, that is one of the characters I believe that you can get in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. Okay. Okay, so um, the alert that's going to resolve at the end of my turn is add four bugs to nest D. So we're going to see more bugs spawning down here. Um, so the first thing I need to do first, though, I need to get rid of these bugs so that, um, uh, so that they don't do damage to the shuttle hull. So I'm going to go ahead and spend an action. That's one of my things that I can do. Uh, kill a bug in your location. So I'm going to go ahead and spend um, one action point to dispatch this one bug. Um, it goes off into the box. And again, I should probably put this off to the side. Uh, while, you're, while I'm taking my turn, you want to take the bugs out of the box and just put them off to the side or, or to the right there. That'll, that'll work too. Here? Yeah, that's fine. Um, so that's one action. Um, another one I may want to do is move to this location and dispatch this bug so that when he moves up he doesn't do any sort of damage. Um, so I may want to do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the move up to two spaces action, or I can just use the teleporter and move my character. Now there are two spaces for every tile, and that counts as one space. So for example, this tile would be one, two, or one, two, or one, two. So I would be going like one, two, but I'm just going to move here and that's for one action. And then I'm going to spend another action to dispatch this bug and murder it. So that's gone. So I've got one action left that I can do um, to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, I messed up in the beginning. I dealt us four skill cards, but there should be four, there should be four skill cards per player not er, per, per character not per player oh so i want to deal you five and pick one to put in that discard pile i'm going to deal myself five and we're going to pick one to put in that discard pile over here okay you can look at them no it's right okay <laughs> yeah um i'm going to put the engineering one in there right there oh we need to put another one no, no. Where, where did you put that one that you just had? In here? That's not the discard pile. That's oh, the drop what? pile. <laughs> the discard pile here? is... Yeah, right there. Okay. That's a wild. Oh, shoot. You don't want to do that. No. That, why would you... Can just... we actually pick them? Yes. Are you you, sure? you, you Yes. <laughs> You're supposed to. You pick the one that you want to discard. Oh. So what I did, folks, um, I, I dealt four of these skill... Or five of these skill cards out to each player, but it should have been to each character. Each character should have their own separate deck. And if you want, um, oh, and each player should also have their own separate tool, too. Um, so here, it's random, though. So your pistol is assigned to who? I don't know. Who did you assign it to? I don't know. Um, here, <laughs> for your That's pick fine. one, and then I'll take that. Fine. Okay. So there's that. Done. Okay, now we're set up. Okay, so can you put those back over there? Okay. All right. <clears throat> So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I have one action point remaining. So to take a look at his skills real quick to see what he has. Uh, he's got a wild, he's got command, he's got science, tactical. Um, I could move one more space here to prepare for that. Um, in order to claim these, uh, you spend one action point plus one science symbol for every one that you're trying to pick up, up to three. So um, if you're gonna pick up one of them, then you need to spend an action point and one science. If you're gonna pick up three of them, it's one action point and three science. So it's one action point regardless, plus however many uh, artifacts you plan on picking up. Um, I've got one action point left. Um, I'm tempted to, excuse me, I'm going to actually move, um, um, 
external scanners. Reveal the top two alerts. No, calm system. Medical. I'm going to beam the scientist here to this spot so that I can prepare them to take use or to pick these up. And that was my fourth action. So now we're going to activate devices. There are no devices. So we're going to move on to advanced bugs. Um, next, refer to the bug swarm chart, which is this here. It's on the one space right now. Move every bug along its tunnel, the number of spaces indicated by the chart. So we are going to move all of the bugs up by one, one, and one, and one. And now we're going to uh, resolve an alert, and that's this here. Um, bugs hatch. Now I can override this. Um, this override means I can spend three command points, and, or three command actions. I've got one, two. So if I wanted to stop this from occurring, I could spend these two, which is an all the time thing, plus this one blue card I have, discard that, and stop the bugs from hatching, if I want to. Um, but I may want to save that for, um, you know what, do we want to, do we want to override this now, stop bugs from spawning? How do you feel? How's our bug situation? I think our bug situation is pretty decent. All right, decent. so I can keep, I can keep my cards then. Um, I think you should. All right, so I'll resolve the, I'll resolve this, which is add four bugs to Nest D. So can I have four of those bug tokens? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to put them here. Mm -hmm. All right, and it is now the next player's turn. It got one, and then a three, then a four, then a five. So your three goes oh. next. Okay. Oh, this is going to be confusing. I, sw I played the captain is dead with Ida Lee recently, and I had an engineer that was uh, a two, but I, I swapped them out for a science officer because of the science needed to pick these artifacts up. Yeah. Um, okay, so to pick artifacts up, um, it's, it's one artifact for three science, you said? No. No, it's one action point plus one science for each artifact that you're attempting to pick up. I see. So if you're going to pick up two of them, you need one action point and two science. Okay. And if you want to pick up three of them, it's, it's one, one action point, point, three science. Correct. Okay. Um, Is there uh, any uh, things you want to do? What I would like to do for my tactical officer. Okay. What's your tactical officer's ability? May draw a random skill from the skill deck each time she deploys a device. Ooh. So we want to get those devices out there if we can. Now you cannot beam to a location that's hidden, so you may want to reveal, you know, like move and start revealing these tiles. Oh, I see. I thought we could. Okay. All right. How do you? How do the devices work? Like, how do you move them? You don't move them. You just you plant them down, and that's that. And then they activate whenever something gets in range. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. The engineer, by the way, lets you move them. The chief engineer, that one of the one of this people that we don't have, uh, lets you move them. Okay. But normally they don't move. Okay. All right, so, so first, you, first thing I want to do is um, transfer a card. I can do that, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I'm going to transfer my wild card to my soldier. Okay. Is there a reason behind that? There is. Okay. You're going to share it with me, or are you going to keep it hidden? It's a cooperative game. I'm I just... know, I know. I have three science cards. Oh, okay. So you're going to use that so to my help. Next, for my soldier, I would like him to carry artifacts. Well, here's the thing. My science officer has two inherent science. Yeah. So I'm going to be making use of those heavily to get those artifacts already. So it's up to you if you want. I mean, so you may want to. My advice is, my advice, and this, you don't have to do this. I'm just saying. My advice, your ability is you get to draw whenever you deploy devices. My advice is start exploring these tiles so that you can get a device down before these bugs get too yeah. far out. But it's up to you. It's your turn. I don't want to mess with it. I know. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, fine. Um, you have two. Si Do you have another science card on your on your science person? Um, I have a wild on my science oh. person, so I could do three. Um, okay. I can do two inherently. So I can do like, I could do one action two, one action two, one action two. Yeah. That's three actions. I'd get all of them. All right. Um, or two, I, I should say. There's four there. Okay. So... I can ha I can pick them all up in one turn. I will... Oh, did we have to put another one? Yes. We have to slide that down. 
Yours is going to be at the end of this turn. It mm -hmm. is uh, add a bug to every location with at least one bug. So we're going to see one here and one here. Okay. So how do I flip this over? You just uh, you move to that location. So you move there. So we're going to flip it. Okay. See what's there. Uh, place two of those um, artifact artifacts. Thingies. Yeah, which I'll get. Yep, you've got in the box there. Mm -hmm. The white side up. Up here. Yep. Okay. Now it has to go on the space you found it because oh, again, I there's see. two that's spaces right. per tile. Okay. So that's going to go there. So that was one action. Point. That was one action point to to move there. Okay. So you could oh. go like two, three, explore again, or if. You, okay, you're going to explore again. All right. Yeah, why not? Three. Uh, what does that say? Not Place like a bug on the shuttle. But don't I have to land directly on it? No, whenever you reveal a tile, uh, that that does the action. So can you place a bug yes. on the shuttle? On the shuttle. Oh, that's nasty. Well... Because now the shuttle's going to take damage and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, for the tactical officer, really? Unless, I, as a free action, I can kill up to two bugs zero to one location away. So you could beam back to the shuttle hall for your fourth action and use your free action, the pistol, to take him out? I have two actions left, right? You have one action left. You, be, you moved here for one, mm -hmm. two, oh, yeah. three, okay. you've got one left, you could beam back for four and then and use your pistol. Bug. Right, or you can just let the hull take damage. Mm -hmm. There's four orange cubes that are on the shuttle. The, the I, I will beam back. Okay. And I'll, I'll use my pistol, because okay. I don't want that bug. Because we don't know what's coming up on the alert stuff, and right. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good idea. Now, this is just going to be discarded if I use it up. Don't, it, yeah, right? but um, you can get more tools at some point, I'm pretty sure. Alright, alright. That's fine. That hurts. <laughs> it does. Alright, oh, so okay. that was that. So now we... Now my... Oh yeah, that's right. Now we have to activate any devices, which we have none. Advanced bugs. So these move up, these move up, and these move up. Um, now the alert says, add a bug to every location with at least one bug. So um, this goes away, that comes out. Um, can you add, um, can you give me three bugs? I'm gonna add one there, one there, and one there. One, two, three. Lots of bugs, nasty. Okay, that's all right. We really need to do something. I'm thinking that whole stasis device would be awesome just to keep them just to keep them repelled back until we can murder them. Mm -hmm. My guy kills three bugs in her location. Nice. Uh, two bugs one space away or one bug two spaces away for an action. Nice. Okay, so you definitely want to come that way then. Maybe yeah. explore a bit more. Because what you could do, uh, again, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but you could teleport to this location, explore more, um, yeah, that's what and I then think. try and pave the way for your... Yeah. Uh, um, hmm. And it's this guy's turn now, right? Yeah, it's the yellow guy's turn. And you said the... I also, I uh -huh. have two um, greens, so okay. I, I think, wouldn't we want those? Um, I can grab them with my, my science. Um, my plan was to use my science officer Just solely for getting right. And my science, science officer's ability is after anyone discards an anomaly, Science officer draws two random skills from the skill deck. Also, anomalies are lasting effects that come from the alert deck. So oh. we'll be getting this anomaly soon. But my goal, I mean, I already have two science cards, so I was just going to use my science officer to exclusively grab yeah. them so okay. that we don't have to use as many science cards. I mean, you can still get them if you want. But Well, what if I use uh, two of my action points to transfer two of my greens to you? That way you get more artifacts in one turn. Um, or no. I could. I don't. I don't need them. All right. Um, my my worry is this here because yeah, they're all gonna get. I, what I'd like all to right. do is get a device here or here at some point so that we can start killing these bugs. Okay. You know that's just my thought. I uh, will use my first action to teleport here. Okay. And then my second action, I go here. Okay. So we reveal that tile which is uh, the active player gains two extra actions immediately. Ooh. So now you've got four actions again. Cool. All right. So you're here. Yeah. So now you've got four actions starting at that location. So it's one, right? Right. Um, two. Okay. You're going to flip that one? Yeah. Two. Uh, advance bugs on this path now. Good. 
And then you've got two more actions. Um. No, you said three spaces away. That's one, two, three. Yeah, you're, they're not close enough for you to use your special action. I have two more actions, right? Right. Okay. One, two. Over. No, uh, we, you sure you want to do that? Yeah, why not? All right, well, I'm just thinking someone's going to have to beam you away because those bugs are going to advance every single turn. And if they reach you, you're going to take injured. Oh, really? Yeah. Can I get injured? Someone's going to have to spend an action to beam you out of there One, to prevent any sort of damage to you. So I, my advice is don't move up until you're ready to deal with them. That's all right. Um, so you have two actions left? Is that what you're saying? I, ha I have one action left, I think. I think. Can you deploy a device? One, two. Wait, this I deploy. So I was here when this right. thing flipped over. Four. So one, one, two, three, four. Okay, I think. Okay, so I have one action left. Can all you right. deploy a device? I could deploy a device. Do you have um, enough? What well, do you have enough cards to do it? Oh, um... Now keep in mind, turrets do not, um... Turrets do not, um... Shoot backward. Yeah. So ideally we'd want, like, a gun turret here. Yeah. Guarding all paths. Uh, so... Ooh. It's either that or you wait for your red, and then put one down there. And then do something else with your, your yellow guy. Um, hold on. Hold on. I think I got it. Hold on. Okay. You do probably want to move because on my turn, they're going to move here. Yeah. So, like, unless you... Well, here's the thing. Your turn, they're going to move there. Well, at the end of this turn, they're going to move here, right? Right. At the end of your turn, they're going to move here. At the end of Green's turn. And at the end of my turn, they're going to move on me. Right. But so, I plan on moving my guy. Or okay. you could spend an action now to maybe move back here so that... By the time your turn rolls around again, you can use your special abilities to start shooting them and killing them. Or I can use my force field and put it on me so that it'll absorb damage. That way I can kill three bugs when they land on me. Because mine is three bugs in my location. Okay. Um, they absorb... Each bug is going to do one damage. And whenever bugs hit a force field, they die. So here's the thing, that these bugs are basically going to, okay, so the way that's going to play out, this is going to move here at the end of your turn, mm -hmm. and then at the end of my green person's turn, they're going to move here, mm -hmm. then at the end of the blue player's turn, they're going to move here, then the, at the end of your red player's turn, they're going to move here. So, and then you've got these that are right behind it. Yeah. So I don't know, like, that force field will kill these four bugs. And then you won't have anything to shoot at. Well, you'll have these to shoot at yeah. come your turn. So, I mean, yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. Do you have enough to build the force field? Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, what is it? An action point and, and, an orange. and an orange. Do you want to do that? Put, mm. a, put a, t a thing there? Mm, maybe I should move. <laughs> it's up to No, because if you can block the attack, your turn comes around, you can use your actions to kill these guys. Yeah. It's up to you, though. I do. I, re I just want to see what happens. Okay. We can do it. All right, force field. It's our it. first game. All right, so go ahead and spend your um yeah my your card. My orange. All right. So you got your force field up and running. Mm -hmm. Good job. Sure. I'm just curious. And now we resolve um, the devices, which activate devices. There's nothing to activate there. Uh, advance bugs. So this is going to move up by one. This is going to move up by one. This is going to move up by one. And we're going to resolve the alert, which is add four bugs to nest C. So can you give me four bugs, what, please? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. I could have bought the blaster, too, for three damage and nine range. Mm. Yeah. It's up to you. Um, and then this one comes down. So at the end of science officer's turn, there's an anomaly. Using or repairing the computer takes an additional action. If we use the ignore in a one to two player game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use these for this game because we do have four players technically. Okay. Um, we've, got, we've got two characters. Two, that's four players. And our captain is dead game. We decided not to use these because there were, there were two people but four characters. So I think we're going to include them this time. Really? Yeah. Just, well, it says ignore in a one or two player game. But uh, it is a two player game. It is, but we have four characters. So I don't know if this one to two player game means 
Use it when there's two people, one or two people playing, or one or two characters playing. Like, that's, that's how I interpret it. Well, how come we didn't play with only two characters? Then? Because we didn't. <laughs> Okay. But it's if I if we don't use anomalies, then my character will never have. All it, right, we can use it's it. It's up to you though. I mean, I don't it's care. Fine. All right, fine. We'll keep it. <laughs> I don't think it necessarily means that way, but it's fine. We'll, we'll see possibly. what happens. Yeah, whatever. We'll see what happens. Uh, at the rule book again, like the captain is dead. The rule book is a little sketchy in some areas, so we're gonna get some things wrong. Okay, so now it is the science officer's turn. Um, the science officer already read off the ability. He has the telepod ability. Which is, for an action, teleport all bugs to a location, back to a nest on that path, then flip the teleport. So I can basically teleport bugs back to their nest. Oh, cool. Um, but instead, I'm going to go ahead and use my actions to start taking care of these. Mm -hmm. So um, for one action uh, and two science on my card here, I'm going to go ahead and take these two. And they just warp back into the, into the track here. So put those two on that track. One, yeah. two. Yep, and that was one action. What is this side? That's a destroyed artifact that would go, oh. that would start the track backward. Oh, gross. And then for a second action, I'm going to do that again. One action, two of these. Uh, fill those up. All right, now we, we crossed over on some spaces there with some text on them. The first one says relic unlocked. So what's that relic say? Smoking orb. Spend an action and two critters to move all bugs in any location to any other location once per turn. This ability is available to all players for the rest of the game. Um, I don't know how to spend bugs, personally. Maybe ones that we've killed? Um, I wonder if that... That's a weird one. Uh, do you want a different one? Just one that makes more sense? I don't have time to look at that. What up. are these? Um... That's just... That's just symbols. Uh, they don't oh, mean really? anything. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I believe that's for the that's for that's to indicate that this is for the dangerous planet expansion. You know, let's draw another, a different relic. This this one doesn't make any sense. I'll look it up later. Spending bugs. I don't. I'm not too familiar with that concept personally. Mm -hmm. So we'll put just put that one on the bottom of the deck. Hopefully, this one's a bit more clear cut. Mm -hmm. Spend three actions to discard one anomaly instead of researching it. This ability is available to all players for the rest of the game. All right, that's fine. So go ahead and put that one back. And this, will, and this will just be out somewhere. I'm just going to put active anomalies. Oh, yeah, that would be here. I'm going to put that up there. This light, actually, you know what? Put that here. The light crystal. That allows us to get rid of anom uh, three action points to discard an anomaly. Oh, two wilds. Oh, is that a wild? Two wilds. That looks like bugs to wilds. me. Wilds. Oh, okay. So, do you want to keep that one then? It's been an action point in two wilds to move all. It's up to you. Yeah, let's keep, fine. We'll, we'll okay. go ahead and keep that. Now that you've determined that's what that is, that looked like a bug to me. No, but it's, okay. the, it's the wild icon. See? It's exactly the same. I see. I wish it would say that. But yeah. Okay, so this is the wild card. It's the wild symbol. Miss that. So yeah, one action and two of these to move all bugs in any location to any other location once per turn. This is the bug. That's icon. the bug. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay. So you can keep that. I'm going to put that there. So that's the smoking orb. Okay. Um, minor mystery solved. <laughs> okay. So I did... The, and then we have to raise the track by one because we landed on... Oh, yeah. That's right. So now bugs will move forward too. So that's the problem for your guy now. Ooh, I didn't think about that. So I may want to move you out of there. With my force field or no? Well, these <laughs> bugs will be destroyed, but... They'll destroy your force field, and then these will uh, kill you. Yeah. So I'm going to have to move your guy back appropriately at some point. Um, what does this mean? When you kill a bug, not during advanced bugs. I don't understand what that means. When you kill a bug, not during advanced bugs, meaning the force field, take, killing them or oh, whatever. Oh, really? Draw four, yes, yeah, so basically, um, if you kill a bug on your turn, but not during the advanced, the advanced bugs oh, is see. part of the third Oh, turn I see, sequence. I see, 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 okay. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, um... Interesting. So I've got two more actions left. What I may do is, I might beam here for three, and then I'm going to beam you back somewhere. Oh. I need to figure out, well, no, because you're going to get killed if I don't. Well, uh, no, I can move, I can move my, I can move... It's not going to be, it's, it's... Follow me on this. Okay. At the end of my turn... Yes. These bugs are going to go one, two. Yes. And then it'll be my admiral's turn. Why is it your admiral? Because oh. this is a five. So the admiral 
the bugs are going to move from here to here on the admiral's turn. Yeah. I would grab my scientist isn't really doing much right now. Mm. On his next turn, he'll grab those two artifacts, and that'll be that. I feel bad. If I take two more, those bugs are going to move up by three. Yeah. And we don't even have any devices down. I don't want to take any more artifacts until we get some devices down. Okay. So I'm going to move your guy. Um, let, let's see first. So uh, on the Admiral's turn, they're going to go one, two. Mm -hmm. On the Red's turn, they're going to go one, two. And then on your turn, so I'm going to move you back here. In theory, these guys will be here mm -hmm. by the time your turn rolls around. Okay. One, two for green, then one, two for blue, then one, two for uh, red. red, and then yellow's turn. Okay. You'll be right there, ready to dispatch them for your turn. Okay. Sorry. What? I feel bad it made you work for me. No, it's fine. <laughs> you need, you know, you need the help. It's a cooperative Carry game. me, slave. I will. <laughs> I, I will and like it. All right, so that was my fourth action. Um, now this anomaly kicks in. Using or repairing the computers takes an additional action. Ignore in a one or two player game. We're just going to activate it. What um, is this? I don't know what that is. There's two of them now. <laughs> they multiplied. Um, no, that's this. That's for the novice trap. Oh, okay. This, the game, I couldn't find this anywhere in the rule book. There's a third one of these clear plastic tokens, but I have no idea what it goes to. <laughs> Again, I'll get into that later with the whole first impressions part. But okay, okay, sorry. The rules suck. Okay, so uh, now we're going to get into... Um, blue's turn? Oh, no. Yeah, so we have to, yeah, it's Blue's turn, yeah. So the next one coming up is add four bugs to nest E, which is over here. I may want to override that one just because... Do, hmm? do you want to? Well, I, I think we should start overriding at some point. Um, I mean, the Admiral... It's either that or I use the Admiral to explore more in this direction, but... Uh, we didn't use the yellow alert after you teleported me, right? Um, I did. That was the anomaly. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. Now it's the Admiral's turn. I get four actions with him. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, I really would like to put down um, turrets on this side, too, to try and stop these bugs. Um, can the Admiral do that? What, what's the... Uh, let me go ahead and look at the, the railgun is three reds. So All right, can I afford any of these? I've got. I want to keep my blues for overriding things. My wild, red and green. Uh, unfortunately, okay. So basically, red. I, so I need red to put these things down. I have no red. Mm -hmm. I can give you one red. Uh, well. <laughs> to your that, or I I use him to explore up further. Um. I also have this rifle. I can use that to possibly go after them at some point. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll maybe I'll use him to explore more more tiles. Or you can grab some a wild there, right? Every time I use the computer, um, I, I could draw the internals. The internal sensors are online. I could I can beam back here and start drawing cards from yeah. Um, I think I might do that just for some. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna beam back here one action. I'm going to draw a card from the internal sensors. So I, I'll, I'll keep. You want me to? You, you want me to keep the wild for you? No. Do you need it? Oh, no. All right. So I'm going to take the wild for my second action. Mm -hmm. Put that in my thing. Um, my hand limit is six, and I do believe that in, that includes tools, so I can't do any other ones. Mm -hmm. um, for my third action, I will. You have six already. Yeah. Wow. Five here, one here. Um, for my third action. Um, Do I have to replenish? Yeah. This is another command card. I'm going to teleport back here. Okay. And then for my fourth action, move here. I don't know if I... Actually, I should probably hold off on revealing squares because at the end of my turn, I don't want, like, bugs spawning here and I can't do anything about it. Um, so I might just sit... Well, that, that was two. What else can I do? I, I can I can give you cards. I can. Um, I th I don't I don't think revealing wouldn't be so bad because we're all full health. We're fine. We're not in like a huge detriment. What if we if have bugs spawn here? Yeah. 
my character will take injuries. Well, you can heal, right? Yeah, but I don't want to spend action points healing when I don't need to. But I, what if we, what if, like, we start getting in the nitty gritty and then we're going to have to start revealing artifacts and be too late? We'll get right? there. Okay, okay. No worries. Right. So what are you going to do now? For two actions? Um, <laughs> good question. Um... I might pass... I don't have any engineer cards. Um... Yeah. I might pass the science card to my science officer. Okay. So I'm going to do that for three. I've got five cards there. And then lastly... Uh, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and beam here for four. <laughs> Uh, and that way I can prepare myself to move up this track for later. Okay. So now, um, bugs hatch. I'm going to go ahead and spend one of my command to override that. Okay. So here's my command card that gets in the discard pile. Mm -hmm. And that goes away. More there. Next one coming up. So th this one at the end of your red's turn is hopeful discovery. Active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place one artifact on its location closest to the shuttle. Um, so you're going to reveal a tile at the end of your turn and put an artifact on it. Okay. So... I would recommend probably that one. Cause yeah, because there's... Away. Right. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We forgot to activate devices and advanced bugs. So we should do that. Okay. Um, so that's two for one, each. One, two. One, two. Yep. Oh, and one, two. Yep. My turn. Uh, yeah, so we resolved the alert already. So yeah, it is now Red's turn. So Red's back at the shuttle here. Um, we want to get her some device, we want to put some devices down if at all possible. Um, I'm thinking like here so that we can cover... Okay, um, let me see. Something that has a range of say, three or higher. Ooh, I could put a railgun down. What's the railgun do? Nine and higher. <laughs> you can put a railgun down? That's, that's, yeah. um, three tactical, one... One, ac two action points. Okay. Um, you can if you want. Is it worth it though? That'll kill three bugs within range nine, which is one, if you were to beam here and put it here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, it, it totally reaches that. All right, so one action point, boom. I would put them on the engineer. I, I, would, I would put them cool. here to give, yeah, more, because you've got a long range with that thing, so we want to make the most of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't want to put it any closer, because then that ninth space yeah. is wasted. Okay. So that's for so for another action you're gonna put that device that's down. That's three yeah, so I have one action point left. Right, so you have to discard the cards. Did you do that already? Discard oh yeah, that's right. Um oops. Uh that's a red and blue. Red and blue, because you already got a red and you I have, have a, two reds. You have two reds on your card. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you spent what you needed to yep. to put that down. You've got one action point left. Mm -hmm. um, do you get any special things for deploying yes, that? Yes, actually. Um, I need to draw a random skill from the skill deck each time I deploy a device. Okay. So, oh wow. Okay. What'd you get? Another wild. Nice. Wilds Two are wilds. good. That's insane. All right, so you've got a fourth action coming. Um, do you want to set yourself up somewhere else to... Um, do you want to set yourself, like, beam over here to put a device over here at some point? When do, does this thing take effect? What? The gun. Um, before the bugs advance. You'll be activating devices. How do you activate it? You just, t you just say, activate, and it'll activate. <laughs> and the next turn? Like, what's the order? That's what I'm uh, look on your blue card. Spend actions, activate devices, oh. advance bugs, then resolve an alert. Spend it. Oh, I see. Okay. For so those at home next... that don't know. So my next... Okay, so after this action... I'll, sh I'll be shooting bugs. Okay, I got it. Right, so you're going to spend your last action, mm -hmm. then you're going to activate the devices. Okay. Um, so, my last action yep. shall be... Okay, I should go with bugs. Sort of one location away. Okay, dang. Alright, um... Hmm. Or, I mean, you could put another turret over here and, like, double whammy these things. Oh my god. Uh, I feel you... bad because that space is, like, all... Actually, well, what you could do is you could put the st if you put the stasis here, right? Hun, if you put the stasis here, what stasis? We don't have uh, not stasis. The uh, shock the field. shock field I that will repel bugs, and this thing will just oh, you don't have I enough. Yeah, that's too much orange. I don't have. Oh, okay. 
I was thinking though, like repel bugs and then just keep shooting as they keep being repelled and keep, <laughs> as they keep trying to push forward and they keep getting pushed back, yeah. then the gun can pick them off. That'd be nasty. I could put a, either a, I could put a blaster or a zapper. We can do that if you want to put one of those two down. A double whammy. Is that a waste? No. I mean, we're going to be seeing a lot of bugs advance. Um, if a bug reaches a uh, gun, it, it dies. Now, here's the thing. Am I supposed to move the, to this spot and place it down? Yes. Or can I just... Oh, no, you'd have to you'd have to move there. Oh, uh, so I can't do that. No. Uh, so my advice is beam somewhere. Yeah, safe. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Um, my advice is, yeah, beam somewhat. Maybe beam over here in preparation for putting a turret down. Or, or just wait. Um, can you pass a card to someone that might need a, need a card? I'll reveal that. Are you sure it's a good idea? <laughs> you can't do that. Why? For A, because you're not here. Ah, oh, crap. You have to <laughs> physically move to that. You can't beam to a location that's hidden. <laughs> All right, fine. That was fun, though. <laughs> okay. I live for the action. Sure you do. <laughs> All right, um, you know what, I'll just... Oops. Is there anything in the shuttle that you'd want to use later on? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Three cards. I wish I could see that far. I can't even see that far. What are you trying to read? Everything. The teleporter, external scanners, yeah. comm system, internal sensors, computers, medical station. Uh, how many cards do you have? Maybe you can go back to base and then draw cards on That's your next turn. Was, yeah. My, I, we need to figure out a way to get rid of that anomaly. Um, I need four engineer points to do it. Wow. Um, oh, but we've got that smoking orb. We can discard two wilds in an action to get rid of it. Yeah. Wait. Oh, really? That's what it says. Spend one action point. Um, with a, I don't have a, a second wild, but if no, I No, this isn't an anomaly. It's only to move bugs. Oh, I'm sorry. What was the I... The anomaly one was the one that we We discarded. Back. Oh, okay. So then we have to... We have to get engineer stuff. Okay, so we need engineer um, cards. Okay, so okay, so here's a question: How many engineer cards do your guys have? Um, I have one. I can pass you one. It's one card per. So I can. Uh, mm. Who's um? I have three. I have potentially three engineer cards right here. So, so I can I can pass that to for your fourth action. I can give you this engineer card. Then you yeah. can use all of those to get rid of that anomaly. Yeah, when it comes around. Right. What is that? It moves two spaces for the bugs. The anomaly. No, the anomaly is when you draw from the skills deck, this, oh. you need to spend an additional uh, action. So instead of drawing blindly for one action, you draw blindly for two actions. Oh, but didn't I do that with my ability? No, that ability, I believe, is separate. That's a bonus okay. ability. Yeah, uh, you're not spending an action to do it. Yeah. It's a free, it's a free action. All right, so it's so up to you, though. I mean, do we really care? Are we going to be drawing blindly from that skills deck? The probably. When it got, when it, when we need it. <laughs> okay. Well, then you want me to give you this engineer card for your fourth action? Yeah. Because what else are we gonna use for engineer except for the shop? Oh, the la. Oh. Yeah. Give me the engineer card because I want to put this down eventually. Okay. All right. So that's your fourth action. Two, three, four, five, yeah. The one coming up is active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place one artifact on its look. Oh, we forgot to activate devices first. I'm jumping the gun. Activate devices. So this activates, okay. it kills three things um, at range nine, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So which ones do we want to kill? Uh, we want to go like one, two, three, and that kills these, these three. Uh, these, oh, there's five here. That's bad. Mm -hmm. That one will end up moving here. Well, that'll, yeah. But this absorbs, right? Four of them. Yeah. So let's do one, two, three. Now, can it be separate, we or can... does it have to be in the same spot? No, it can. We can choose whatever bugs we want. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it matters then, really. Well, it matters based on. I, I would say let's get rid of the ones closest to the gun. Okay, that's fine. So now, does the gun take damage if bugs go on it? Yes, it destroys it completely. Ooh, then yes. <laughs> so these three bugs are gone. One, two, three. Uh, meta activates, but. It doesn't do anything. Uh, advanced bugs. So it's one, two. Okay. And then these move up. Ooh, that moves up too. Right. right. So two more die. Okay. And this and goes away. Goes okay. So these go here. Those move up by two. Those move up by two. Okay. And um, I think this is discarded. Okay. Yeah, in the box. Oh, perfect. <laughs> 
Okay. Right. Now it is the soldier's turn. No, wait. Advanced we have to. Uh, we have to do the alert first. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place. So where do you want the unrevealed tile going to be? Closest to the shuttle would be here. Yeah, I would say that one. So you said one artifact. Uh, oh, it says place an artifact, place a bug here. Okay. So we're going to have an artifact from the tile plus an artifact from the alert. I need two, no, it's bugs. I need one bug. Here's one. One bug here. What and one? I need two artifacts to put here. One for the inherent space and one from the alert. Okay. One, two. And then on my turn, I'm going to, well, someone's going to have to go over there and take care of that bug. Oh, yeah, because or I could just teleport you. Um, whose turn is it? It's the soldier's turn, right? Right, so... Did you advance that? I will. You need to come over here and kill it, then. Because um, at the end of your turn, he's moving, and he's going to do damage to one of them. Okay, okay. So that means you're going to have to move over here and kill it for one of your turns, or one of your actions. Huh. That's going to be two actions. Hold on, hold on. All right, whatever. Let me think. <laughs> hold on. Um... One bug, two spaces away. Now I could teleport anywhere, right? You could. So as long as it's a revealed space. Um. Okay, so here's here's what I can do then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now the next turn we're gonna activate this again, right? Yes, and that'll kill that'll two kill more. These three. Oh, three more. Yeah. These will move up. Yeah. That, that one's a little bit comfortable. Yeah, okay, okay. The alert coming up is um, Grim Discovery. Active player must reveal an unrevealed... Oh, we did that already, didn't we? Did we? Oh, no, that's different. Grim Discovery is active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place a bug on each of its locations. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be placing more bugs somewhere at the end of your turn. What I can do is... Oh, I was here. I can teleport here. Right. And kill the bug. Per my, per my ability. Okay. I can kill two bugs one space away. Okay. Right? So that's two actions. Right. So that's dead. Okay. Now with your other two actions, remember, if you collect any artifacts, those bugs are now going to move three faster. They're going to move from two to three. Whoa, so okay. these are going to go one, two, three, then one. So we, we would need to kill those. Okay. We're, we have to find a way to get there. I have two actions left. You do. I would not collect those artifacts yet. Okay, I won't. Um, okay. But I would maybe... Reveal something? Um, which one can get a bonus for putting a, a, a something down? The tactical officer. Oh, okay. Um, um, do you have the cards necessary to put down a gun turret here or something? Wait, hold on. I have two, I have two right? Uh-huh. Two actions. Two actions. What I can do is teleport... Here. You can't beam to a location that's hidden. This These are flipped down. Oh, is that flipped up? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can do that. All right. And then I use my final action to kill three bugs in my location. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Is there three here? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Good job. All right. Good job, soldier. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. um, so now we activate devices. So that one activates. That can, so that's going to kill three. three. Yep. One, two... Three, mm -hmm. there you go, from that thing there. Mm -hmm. um, and advanced bugs, so they're gonna move up two each. So one, two, mm -hmm. one, two. And that gun will take care of that on the next turn. I'm concerned about these guys, because these aren't revealed yet. Yeah. All right, um, now we have to uh, grim discovery this alert. So active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place a bug on each of its locations. Um, so reveal a tile and then put bugs on it. Oh, um, any tile? Yeah, it says any re unrevealed tile. Any unrevealed tile. Seriously, so it can skip? Yeah, but I'd, I'd hesitate to put anything that close to the base. Uh, maybe this one, so that my, my admiral, if there is an yeah. artifact that spawns there, I can quickly yeah. get to it and kill them. That's fine. So this one here? Yeah. Alright, so this is place three artifacts. So three out of the box, and then we need to put a bug on each of these. You know what? We probably should have done this one. 
No, no, never mind. No, I take that back. <laughs> no, this is bad because these are going to move up. Yeah. I have no way of dispatching these. I. I when my soldier, They're going to. I, I would need to get. Unless you use a pistol or a tool or get a tool from I have them. a rifle. I could maybe use my rifle. All right, well, let's figure it out. Um, so we've got. I need two bugs. I, my soldier has to go there again. Well, no, it's not going to have any time. One, two. The bugs don't attack until they advance. So I basically have to kill these two bugs with the Admiral to buy time for someone else to um, get to these guys. Which your, your, your red guy would be after him. Let's go ahead and move these guys My forward. red guy? Yeah, your red guy is after my blue guy. Oh. So your red guy would have to find a way to dispatch these or collect these. Okay. So wait, who's... The, so ad, who's... the blue guy, it's the admiral's yeah. turn. No, I thought it was the green's turn. Is it? Cause oh, my bad. It is. You're right. You're right. So, all right. So, I got to figure this out. I can use the teleport ability for an action teleport all bugs in a location back to the nest. I can put those guys back here temporarily. I could do that. Um, the one coming up is critical malfunction. Active player must flip a system card to its offline side. All players in the shuttle are injured. That's not too bad. How many wilds do you have? For my science? Yeah. Um, I've got one. I can give you one and you can make use of this and put those bugs where the nine range gun is. Um, I could. Um, do we want to do that? It's up to you. What do you think? We still, I need to do something about this guy first. Well, spend an action in two wilds to move all bugs in any location. Right, but that, what about these guys? Those guys are going to hit this too, so I need to kill this, this, and stop that. So I, I'm thinking maybe wait till the, the next turn to deal with these guys. Because at the end of Green's turn, they're going to move here. But I was thinking of spending this to move that all the way mm -hmm. down Okay, here. fine. But I oh, still need to kill this oh, or oh, that's oh. dead. And this two of these artifacts are going to die at the end of my oh. turn. Oh, I see. Oh, so artifacts can be destroyed that way. Okay, I didn't. That's know how that. bugs get destroyed. That's how the uh, artifacts, artifacts get destroyed. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know how artifacts got destroyed. Yeah, the bugs kill okay. them. Okay. Okay. So I have to, I have to kill both those bugs with my scientist, um, and then hopefully with my admiral, I'll be able to um, do. I can then do what you suggested with the smoking orb. Um, I think I have a wild in here. I do. So I could spend my wild to, or spend both of my wilds, I have two wilds, I could spend both of my wilds to move them over here. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so for one action, I'm going to do one to take this one out. So that's one, that's two. So one to move, two to kill, then three, four to kill. Okay. Now here's the thing. I do have a telepod. What I could do is I could use my telepod. Rather than use two wilds, I might as well use my tool. Um, is that one action or free action? Oh, for an action. Um, I guess I can't. Mm -hmm. All right. What did it say? To just teleport? Teleport. Right. At bugs? Yes. But I can't. I don't have enough action points. Yeah. I have to kill those two. Otherwise, they do damage to our artifact. So I had to do that. So that ends the science officer's turn. Um, now we activate devices. That will kill this thing here. Mm -hmm. uh, next we advance bugs. So that's uh, one, one two. two. And now we resolve an alert. Mm -hmm. Active player must flip a system card to its offline side. Uh, if anyone's in the shuttle they are injured, which we're not. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the medical station. Okay. Because no one's injured right now. Actually no, there is no offline for that. Crap. Um, there is no card for the medical station. Um, we can flip the computers offline. We've got the anomaly issue already, so I'm thinking like if we... Flip, no, here's the thing, if we flip the computers offline, the skill deck is discarded. We can always repair it. <laughs> we could. What's easier to repair? Are we allowed to see... The offlines and see what's easier. Well, the offline, yeah. Discard the skill deck. Yeah. Which is it also says using or repairing the computers takes an additional action. So if we put this offline, if we want to, we we have to get rid of the anomaly first before repairing this. Mm. 
and it costs three action points to repair it. So my tactical officer we needs would need to come around. Four, we need four engineer cards and one action. Yeah, she has that. All right, so we'll put this offline, and this goes into the discard pile. So all of these go here. Okay. And now it's the Admiral's turn? Right. Should I shuffle those? If you want. We're getting on the orange alerts now. Did you put those discarded ones in the bottom or in the top? I don't remember. If you're going to shuffle them, what difference does it make? Oh, well, because I didn't really want to shuffle them. Oh, well, then whatever. <laughs> but I have to now. Okay, that's fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, now with the Admiral, mm -hmm. how in the world am I... I'm going to have to do the whole... You have to move her first off. No, I have to kill these bugs or move them. Moving her is not going to do anything. Oh, yeah, the wild. You can use that wild. Right. Yeah. I'm more than likely going to have to do that. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, That's a really good card. Yeah, I hate spending two wilds, though. Unless I it's worth it. beam here. What's my rifle do? <laughs> For an action, kill up to five bugs, zero to two locations Whoa. away. Oh. Oh, easy. Oh yeah, there's five here. Alright, so I'm going to be here for one, and then for a second action, use this to kill all five bugs. There you go. Done. Why didn't you think of that earlier? <laughs> that <didn't go> <laughs> that's, that's two actions. Um, I really don't want to reveal anymore, but at the same time... we got to get these artifacts. What I'd like to do is I need to get back. I need to get some more command cards so that I can uh, start overriding more of these alerts. Mm -hmm. um, uh, internal sensors, right? Yeah, I could beam back for three and then collect one for four, and then I can override this command coming up, which is sensor tripped. Active player must reveal an unrevealed tile and place a bug on its location furthest from the shuttle. Um, I don't like that because what if we reveal an artifact here? I, I, yeah, so I'm thinking beam back here for three. Okay. Or do do I have enough to put something down here? Or can is your red going to come over here and do that? I can't because I have to repair. I have to remove the anomaly, right? Oh yeah. And repair. So that's that's going to take all my actions. All right. So three, four. Okay. Um, and then. Devices activate, nothing to activate. Uh, there's nothing in range of that gun. Um, advanced bugs, there's no bugs. And resolve an alert. I'm going to go ahead and use the blue card that I just picked up, in addition to my two command, to bypass, override that. Oh, crap. What? Oh, I just thought of something. I'm sorry. All right, that goes here. Alright, so now we are on the Red's turn. Yes, here's the problem. I use one action to teleport. No, I use I use all my actions to remove the anomaly, right? You no, have to... I use one action and four engineering cards. That's what I mean. Okay. So that's all my cards. Now, do you have to do that at the shuttle, though? Mm -hmm. Doesn't say. It doesn't say. Alright. Anomalies remain in play until research... Oh, you have to research them in the shuttle. So you have to move to the shuttle and then okay. spend what you need to. So one. Okay. Two to, re to remove it. Okay. And I have you two have to action those. points and I won't be able to fix the computer. That's all right. We've got two cards there. So if you need to, you can draw from those two. Now I want to shuffle because there's two wilds. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I can't because that's cheating. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so with two action points, um, all right. can your red your red build stuff? I can actually build. Can you come over here yeah, and maybe build something? I can build a zapper. I can go there and build this zapper. Okay, I, we're gonna need that at some point. Yeah, and that only does three damage for three range, but it's still better than nothing. Better than nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got a zapper at this location. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm assuming that weapons take damage first before artifacts? We choose. Okay. Whenever bugs do damage, we choose how they uh, apply the damage. Okay. And what do broken artifacts do? They, they, go, they go here, okay. and they move back along the track. If they reach the difficulty marker, I we see. lose. Okay, I see, I see. All right, so now it is the resolving? We'll yeah, we have to resolve this alert. Yep. Uh, bugs hatch, nest F, four bugs. So I need four bugs, please. 
And they're gonna come down here. Four. Here you go. We're at the orange alerts now. Okay. Just saying. There's an anomaly coming up. Yeah, that's rough. All right, uh, bugs emerge. Seven bugs to nest bee. Holy cow, this is going to get nasty. Yeah, we really need those artifacts. Pretty soon. The thing is, though, if we advance too quickly with those artifacts, uh, we need one, two, three, we need 11 more to win. Mm -hmm. There's what, four? No, there's three there, four, five, two, six, seven. seven. So we still need to find four more. If we collect these, these bugs are going to move up faster while we're looking for them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It seems like the best strategy here is... To just uncover stuff? Uncover, figure out where they are. That way the bugs don't move as quickly. Yeah. And then ninja, try and ninja the artifacts out front. And then get these last. Mm -hmm. Get these last. You know what I mean? Leave these back here. Let them be protected. Okay. Hopefully there's no alerts, though, that add bugs back. <laughs> that, would, that would stink. Um, um, so it is... Soldier's turn? It is soldier's turn. All right. Um. Hmm. Hmm. One, two. Um. No. Wait. Is this? What are you looking for? Hold on. Oh. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, okay. Sorry. And that's the blaster. I was wondering. Okay. Um, you just had the wrong figurine. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of putting down another device, but... Hey, that's awesome. Um, if we can get more devices down... I don't know where that last um, gun would be, should be, though, because we don't have that many aliens on the board. Where were you going to put that device? I have no idea, device? honestly. Do you want to maybe explore... Just try and get. Do you have any signs on you? I have one. Okay. Should I pass it to you? No. What I mean is, <laughs> I was thinking, revealing and trying to ninja. There's no bugs over here right now. Um, coming up, there's add seven to B. To B. So well, here's the thing. If you reveal here, there's a there's a threat that if there are artifacts here, you have so to. So maybe here. You, you. Yeah, we could. Um. This anomaly is increase the swarm rate by one, decrease the swarm rate by one when this card is discarded. So this is going to, at the end of your turn, oh that's going to go up to three. Jeez. These are going to fly up here. Yeah. I mean, if you can put um, another gun over here to help take care of this, that would be awesome. Um, then you could draw a card as the result of your ability, right? Wait, what? <laughs> your yellow can build guns and get a bonus for it? Um... Or no? No, no. That's the red. That's okay. the red. But um, I have the cards to build a gun, though, for the yellow. Well, I mean, if you want to... Um, or I can just go back to the shuttle and repair the computers. Do you think that... For um, the orange to get rid of that stupid anomaly, because that anomaly stinks and we need orange to get rid of it. Okay. Um... Yeah, if you wanted, it's up to you. That would you beam back and then uh, fix the computer. Or our guns better. I don't know. <laughs> At the moment, we need we need to get more art. We need to get our artifacts. We need to figure out where they are and get them home. So I mean, so maybe revealing then. Yeah, it might be for the best. So okay, so to reveal this, it's what one action point. Right. Two? Then moving here is two. Two. Right. Okay. So you're gonna do that. Yeah. What does that say? The active player must discard a tool if they have any. Crap. What wow, is that? That was a really good one. Ooh, what is that? The sensor pack. When you kill a bug, draw four random skill cards and flip sensor... Oh, wow. That is so... Ugh. That sucks. Um, I guess put that with the other tools, wherever they are. Mm -hmm. Over there. But it's discarded. It's not like... Yeah, you can just put that... Yeah, put that over there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So we can still get it back again? I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up. I'm sure there's a way to get more tools. I think discard means like remove from the game. Okay, well yeah, just put it over there then. Uh, and then that was what, three? Was that your third action or your second One, action? One, two, yeah, I have two more. Alright, so you have two more actions. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess I'll reveal another one here. Alright. Oh wait, no, because I can only move. Three. Right. You can three, three then four. four. Oh, okay, that's But right. you have to hope that there's no bugs that reveal. Yeah. 
Yeah, Here's the thing, though. The if there's only th your your gun is going to activate before the bugs move. Okay. So yeah, that'll good. kill whatever spawns here. Uh, place a bug here. All right. So we'll put a bug there. But your devices will activate. Activate devices. Mm -hmm. So that's going to kill that dead. And now advanced bugs. Uh, two spaces. So that's one two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now we resolve the alert. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Increase this, the move rate by one. So this goes up to three. So that's active anomaly. And this will go back down to two whenever we get rid of that anomaly. That's another four engineer cards. Yeah. Okay, so I made an executive decision to flip the table. Um, I got to a point where I was getting too frustrated. Um, it doesn't help that I've got a ton of medical issues and I'm having just a really bad day. But the game got to a point where it was too convoluted. Um, I kept forgetting certain anomalies, I kept forgetting certain systems were offline. Uh, there were a couple of rules that we had to look up in the rulebook regarding tools and we couldn't find them. Like, could we acquire more tools during the game? We couldn't find it anywhere in the rulebook. So, based on that and with the game spiraling out of control and taking back moves, I'm like, you know what, this is enough. I'm not having fun anymore. We're done. Yeah. What did you think besides that? <laughs> it, was, it was kind of frustrating, to be honest. There's a lot of things to keep in, uh, track of. It would have been a lot better if we had a digital app to keep track of things. Um, it, it just, it, you're right, it wasn't, be, it wasn't fun anymore. Like, yeah. I kept getting frustrated at you, you kept getting frustrated at me. Was, yeah, we were actually getting frustrated with each other because, <laughs> you know, I don't know, like, it's a game, I should recognize that, but this game actually brought out my temper, and I don't know why that is. I think it was a combination of the difficulty and all the different things that were in play, and like it was fun. I enjoyed it for the first half an hour or so, mm -hmm. but once things got really complicated and got into the orange alert deck and um, we kept moving further down toward the nests, um, we just didn't have enough action points to do everything. It was, it was a matter of RNG really screwing us over no matter how no matter how much we planned out our moves, um, we saw the alerts coming, um, but... There's no coming back. There's, yeah, I mean, once, like, it, it, it came down to a point where no one was in the shuttle, the teleporters got offline, and no one could get back to the shuttle. We were all, like, toward the nest, trying to find the last couple of artifacts. And with the teleporters offline and people getting injured, it was a mess. Um, so... Maybe had we had more stamina, maybe we could have stuck with it and finished the game out um, with better strategies, but mm -hmm. I got to a point where I got physically exhausted trying to keep up with all the different things in the game, and I just couldn't do it. D today was a bad day, uh, medically, so I, I couldn't. Um, I like the idea of it. I, I love the idea of an away team. I like finding the artifacts, and I like finding, like, I like the idea of, like, a bug invasion, like a Starship Trooper style. Um, I like that different crew members have different abilities. There's a lot to like about this game. But I, on Novice, I still find it to be too difficult. I, I don't, I didn't have fun with this because of its difficulty. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that's in part due to the RNG. Um, we found a lot of artifacts toward the beginning of the game, close to the shuttle. But, I bet you, we didn't explore... There were two tiles per nest tile that, were, that we did not uncover. A couple of those probably have the last artifacts in it, but we don't know which ones. And it's a matter of RNG. Which ones, hopefully, can we get to before bugs spawn and, and overrun that position? Because as, as, as soon as you reveal a tile, um, you reveal those artifacts, and you have to have the cards that you need to get those artifacts out of there before the bugs spawn at that nest right there and overrun it. So it's like, it gets really hard toward the latter half of the game, because A, the bugs move faster, and B, um, you're closer to the nest, and so are the artifacts that you're looking for. So, I don't know how else to improve this game in terms of difficulty, other than maybe give everyone an extra action point per turn to help negate that. Like, if I were to play this game again, I would give everyone five action points per turn instead of four. Um, yeah, it's cheating, but it's my game, my house, I'll do what I want, get over it. Um, it my goal is to have fun with the games I play. Three characters instead of two for each person. Three characters? Nah, well, you still have to cycle them. No, I wouldn't. 
You would just, <laughs> you just, pick, you just, pick, what, you would just pick what character to go at that point we, in time. We would, yeah, we would just, you know, yeah. it, it would go back and forth. Not not like one, two, three, four. It would be like, if it's your turn, you can use both characters at the same time. She's more hardcore than I am when it comes to difficulty. Did you find this game too difficult on Novice? It was, it was pretty difficult, uh, I thought. Um, I think a lot of it was due to our strategy. I don't think we could have played... I don't think we played to the best of our ability. No, we didn't. I admit that. <laughs> we spent a lot of time teleporting around everywhere. Yeah. Um, we did take longer to reveal those artifacts and those spaces. Yeah. Maybe we should have concentrated on... I think we spent too much time killing bugs. I don't know. And, and I Honestly, I think it was the fault of not understanding what the rule book was trying to say and a lot of little certain things because, I don't know, it was just little, I don't know, this, these little things that don't make sense to me. The captain is dead had the same problem with their rule book. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of, I had to look up five or six different rules on Board Game Geek because they weren't listed in the rule book. I still don't know what this is for. There's an extra clear plastic token. One is for the alien speed track, or the, the bug speed track. One is for the novice difficulty marker. Yeah. I don't know what this goes to. I, the rule book doesn't say. So the rule book does, again, a piss poor job of organizing things and explaining everything you need to know. And yeah. I find that frustrating, uh, just to me. I, I like the idea. I like the, I like the idea. I like the cooperativeness. I love the, the theme, the sci-fi theme. I like that. I like the idea of bugs invading, but I don't think the game was easy enough on Novice for casual players to mm -hmm. really enjoy it. I think, I think there needs to be an easier mode for casual gamers, and, and I will count myself among them. I've got 500 games, but I consider myself casual. We need an easier way to just sit down, have fun casually, and, and I think more action points are the way to do it. Yep. Um, or maybe draw an alert every other player turn so that there's less things, less bad things happening. Mm -hmm. um, I did that with Pandemic. It kind of broke the game a little. But instead of you drawing more viruses at the end of every player's turn, draw one every other turn. That makes the game a lot more easy, and you can teach it to new players that way, you know, sort of like a beginner mode. I think this game needs a beginner mode. Keep it on the novice difficulty marker, but add more actions per turn, and, um, you know, maybe, like I said, resolve alerts every other turn or something like that. Just until players get the handle of this, um, this physically exhausted me. Yeah. Um... I mean, it didn't help that I spent three hours at the doctor's office today. So, me coming home, playing this for another two hours, I, my brain is just not there. Yeah, this is a type of game where you just want to take a day and go over it and play it and strategize. Right, and you need to be on top of it from beginning to end. Yeah. Because you might... You, you, we were doing well in the beginning of the game. Like, we were doing very well. But then we couldn't find any artifacts halfway through each of these tracks, and then we, we were left with a couple more to reveal... And the remaining artifacts were there somewhere, but we just couldn't get to them. We were getting into the orange deck, seven bugs per nest. It was, it was a mess. So we just weren't fast enough uh, to get the right. Had those artifacts been somewhere in the center due to RNG, mm -hmm. um, then we would have won. But because they weren't, then we lost. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a, there's a luck element to this too. I guess another way of negating difficulty precede the um, tiles a little bit. So take out all the artifact ones, right? Shuffle the remaining ones, put them toward, say, I don't know, toward the nests, and then see the artifacts to near the shuttle and in the middle, as opposed to right adjacent to the nests. That's a good idea. Actually. That way, beginners have less RNG involved to find these artifacts. So I think there's a number of ways to make the game easier for newcomers. If I were to play this game again, which I do want to, I would incorporate one or all of those suggestions. Yeah. The rule book also says that moving around a lot is a waste of actions. And we did like, that a lot. We did do that a lot. Mm -hmm. So that was probably a bad choice. <laughs> yeah. But would you play this again as is, or would you want to incorporate some of the options that we just discussed? I don't know. Um, would you solo this, like, with the regular, like, I, I wouldn't, but w if you were to play this solo, mm -hmm. control, say, three, four characters, would you play it again as we did tonight, or would you want to make it easier to have fun? Um, I, 
I guess I would play it again, but I'd have to write down all the steps. There's just like so many steps mm. and like to make sure. I know it has it right there in front of you, but I have to it write was... I have to write down like little reminders, like little notes, like take notes. It was a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So I guess the bottom line is fun game. I like it, but I think it needs tweaking to fit my house. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what it comes down to. I like it, like the theme, like everything about it, except for the RNG and the difficulty. I would tweak it to make it better for this house. Yeah. But other than that, I, I think the only thing that could make it better would be like a digital app or dice. That's you know, dice. So. You and your dice. Dice is her answer to everything. There's enough RNG. You want to add more dice? <laughs> dice would make it a lot better. Dice would be like no. You roll the dice, see how many, see how many bugs would come out, see how many bugs can go back, you know? Yeah. No. Wrong. You're wrong. I respect your opinion, but you're wrong. Yeah. See. <laughs> <That's> so good. <laughs> <laughs> the captain is dead. Dangerous planets. Uh, hopefully, this gives you a small taste as to what you're in for. Should you decide to pick this up. Yeah. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.